Newton's grasp of gravity was sufficient to enable humanity to travel from Earth to the moon. Have you ever found yourself immersed in the ticking passage of time, pondering whether our understanding of it is merely the surface of a much larger unseen reality? His insight is more than just a hypothesis. It's a key that could unlock the secrets of the universe, revealing a cosmos far more complex and inspiring than we ever imagined. How does Brian Cox's latest theory reshape our conventional view of time, and what might it mean for how we perceive reality? Come along with us on a fascinating journey through the fabric of time itself as we delve into Brian Cox's revolutionary new hypothesis about the nature of time and the vast universe surrounding us. Unsolved enigmas await discovery, including perplexing aspects of time and gravity, critical elements of our existence. Imagine a world where time behaves in unusual ways, either slowing down or speeding up. Furthermore, the force that holds us to the ground may not be as it appears. This is the domain of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity, where our understanding of both time and gravity takes on a surprising twist. Einstein, a household name, revolutionized our understanding of the universe with his relativity theories. His contributions laid the foundation for explaining how time functions under different circumstances, particularly when traveling at extreme speeds. It all began in the early 1900s when Einstein introduced two groundbreaking concepts the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity, published in 1905, fundamentally altered our perception of time and space. Simply put, it asserts that the laws of physics are identical for all observers who aren't accelerating, regardless of their motion. This theory introduced the notion of relativistic effects, including the now famous concept that time can stretch or slow down in specific conditions. One intriguing thought experiment used to illustrate time dilation involves a light clock. Picture yourself inside a spacecraft traveling at nearly the speed of light. Inside the ship, there's a beam of light bouncing between two mirrors oriented perpendicular to the direction of travel. According to the laws of physics, the speed of light remains constant for all observers. So, to someone observing from outside, the light's path would appear diagonal. The fascinating part, the time it takes for the light beam to travel its path should be identical for both the observer inside the ship and the one outside. However, since the path appears longer to the external observer, it seems to take more time for the light to complete its journey. This apparent discrepancy in the passage of time between the two observers is what Einstein described as time dilation. For the observer in motion, time slows down relative to the stationary observer. Thus, Time behaves differently depending on the observer's speed. Relativistic effects, or the way things behave when moving rapidly, are more than just theoretical. Scientists employ massive machines such as particle accelerators to propel particles at near-light speeds. At these speeds, time behaves in ways that demand special consideration for accurate predictions and measurements. Einstein's special theory of relativity, published in 1905, transformed our understanding of the universe, particularly regarding time and motion. This theory challenges our everyday intuition. It tells us that the laws of physics are the same for everyone, regardless of their motion. This runs counter to our everyday experience, where we might assume that adding more speed to something that's already moving just makes it go faster. But according to Einstein, there is a maximum speed limit, the speed of light. Events that appear simultaneous to one observer may not seem so to another who is traveling at nearly the speed of light. Special relativity also introduces the concept of length contraction, where an object moving at high speed appears shorter in the direction of motion when viewed by a stationary observer. Another well-known result from this way of thinking is the famous equation backslash, E equals mc caret 2 backslash, which reveals that energy and mass are interchangeable. This equation is essential for understanding how particles behave at high speeds, and it also underpins the processes that occur when atoms split in nuclear reactions. In everyday life, special relativity isn't just an abstract idea. It's crucial for technologies like GPS satellites orbiting Earth are moving fast, and as a result, time passes slightly differently for them than for people on the ground. If we didn't account for this time dilation effect in GPS calculations, our navigation systems would be far less accurate. Therefore, special relativity teaches us that time is relative. It depends on how things are moving, which challenges our common-sense understanding of time and space. 
According to the special theory of relativity, time is not absolute. It's influenced by motion. Many core principles, like the constancy of the speed of light and the relationship between energy and mass, have been experimentally verified. But the story doesn't end there. Enter Albert Einstein's General Theory of Relativity, published in 1915. This theory delves deeper into the relationship between gravity and the structure of the universe. It shatters the old notion that gravity is merely a force that pulls things together from a distance. Instead, it posits that gravity arises from the curvature of space and time. In other words, gravity isn't a mysterious force. It's simply the way objects move in a bent spacetime. To understand general relativity, we must think of the universe as a four-dimensional entity, three dimensions of space and one of time. In this framework, massive objects like stars, planets, and even humans warp the spacetime around them. This warping is what we perceive as gravity. Think of space-time as a large elastic sheet. When a heavy object like Earth rests on it, it creates a depression. If you place a smaller object like a ball near Earth, it will roll toward the dip. This is analogous to how gravity works, not as an invisible force, but as the result of the bending of space-time. Earth's mass creates a dent in the space-time fabric, and other objects move accordingly. General relativity provides a comprehensive explanation for planetary motion in our solar system. It accurately predicts the elliptical orbits of planets around the Sun. This approach is a departure from the older concept of gravity as a force that simply attracts objects. The modern view is that space and time are curved, like a bendable sheet, and this more accurately describes the observed behavior of planets. A major confirmation of general relativity came in 1919 during a solar eclipse. Sir Arthur Eddington led a team to observe how light from distant stars bent as it passed near the sun. The observed bending exactly matched Einstein's predictions, providing strong evidence for the theory. Just as motion alters the passage of time, according to special relativity, gravity also affects time. In regions of strong gravity, Time moves more slowly compared to areas with weaker gravitational fields. If you were to stand near a supermassive object like a black hole, your clock would tick more slowly compared to one far away from the object. General relativity introduced the concept of black holes, regions of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. The boundary of a black hole is called the event horizon, which marks the point of no return. Once something crosses this boundary, it is irrevocably pulled into the black hole. Einstein's general theory of relativity has far-reaching consequences for our understanding of the universe. Initially, Einstein included a cosmological constant in his equations because he believed the universe was static. However, when it was discovered that the universe is expanding, he admitted that the constant was an error. This expanding universe, described by general relativity, is central to the Big Bang theory, which explains the origins of the cosmos. Another crucial concept from general relativity is gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of spacetime caused by extremely massive objects like colliding black holes or neutron stars. In 2015, scientists at LIGO detected gravitational waves for the first time, providing further validation of Einstein's predictions. Over the years, numerous experiments and observations have consistently affirmed general relativity's accuracy. Whether observing planetary orbits, the bending of light, or detecting gravitational waves, the theory has been continually verified. While the notion of gravity being a lie might sound shocking, especially considering our daily experiences with gravity, it's not uncommon in science to question established ideas. Some scientists, including Brian Cox, challenge conventional views of gravity, proposing alternative explanations. One such idea is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND which suggests that gravity behaves differently at low speeds, especially in galaxies, without the need for dark matter. Instead of invoking invisible matter, Mond posits that gravity becomes stronger at lower velocities. The debate surrounding gravity also touches on the mysterious phenomena of dark matter and dark energy, which were introduced to explain certain cosmic observations. Critics argue that these concepts may not be necessary and that alternative theories can account for the phenomena. Some scientists who dispute Einstein's theory of gravity explore new possibilities, such as unknown particles or forces, that could modify our understanding of gravity. 
In science, new ideas are tested rigorously to determine if they hold up. For example, Einstein's concept of time within a four-dimensional space, where backward time travel is limited by the speed of light, has led to speculation about phenomena like wormholes and shortcuts. Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture suggests that time travel into the past is likely impossible from a physical standpoint. Continual experiments and observations test whether these novel theories can explain gravity in ways comparable to our current understanding. While various alternatives have been proposed, none have convincingly replaced the established laws of gravity. Challenging and questioning established ideas is a critical aspect of scientific progress, leading to deeper exploration and more refined theories. In the realm of gravity, general relativity remains the most widely accepted and successful theory. Despite competing ideas, it continues to perform well in tests and explains a wide range of phenomena, such as the movement of planets and the bending of light around massive objects. Its simplicity and universal applicability help ensure that general relativity remains a dominant theory. As we discussed earlier, Einstein's special theory of relativity tells us that time is not fixed but changes depending on how fast something is moving. This principle of relativity has profound implications for things like space travel. Space travel is an exciting yet challenging endeavor, particularly because of the vast distances involved. According to Einstein, the speed of light is the ultimate limit on how fast anything can travel in space. This poses a huge problem for interstellar travel, especially when considering the enormous distances between stars. Consider the famous twin paradox an example that illustrates time dilation. Suppose one twin remains on Earth while the other embarks on a journey to a distant star. When the traveling twin returns, they will find that less time has passed for them than for the twin on Earth. Essentially, the traveling twin has traveled into the future. Time is crucial for space travelers because the longer the journey, the more time appears to slow down for the astronaut. If they travel close to the speed of light, their trip may feel much shorter than it does for someone back on Earth. This is a real consequence of special relativity. Imagine sending humans to a nearby star system. Even if we had advanced propulsion technology, the trip would still take years. During the journey, the astronauts would experience time more slowly due to time dilation, meaning they would age more slowly than people back on Earth. While this might sound like science fiction, it is a real effect predicted by relativity. Time dilation also has practical implications for technology systems like GPS, which rely on precise timing. Satellites orbiting Earth must account for time dilation effects to maintain accuracy. Without adjustments for time dilation, the GPS system would quickly become unreliable. Let's turn now to the question of why time flows in one direction. Time is something we experience continuously, from the past into the present and future. This unidirectional flow is a key feature of reality. But why is time like this? The answer lies in entropy, a measure of disorder or randomness. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that entropy always increases in an isolated system, meaning things naturally become more disordered over time. This gives time its directionality from order to disorder. The arrow of time is observable in everyday phenomena. For example, if you have a tidy deck of cards and shuffle them, they become messy. This increase in disorder exemplifies how time seems to move forward. This directionality of time is apparent not just in macroscopic events, but also at microscopic scales. In the world of quantum mechanics, which deals with the smallest particles, the laws of physics allow for time to flow both backward and forward in certain conditions. However, the larger, complex systems we encounter in the everyday world don't exhibit this reversibility. The key difference lies in the initial conditions of the system, which govern its evolution and ensure that time moves in one direction. This concept of time moving forward is central not only to our daily experience, but also to the broader evolution of the universe. The universe began in a highly ordered state following the Big Bang, and over billions of years, it has grown more disordered forming stars, galaxies, and planets. Scientists are still working to understand why the universe started out so orderly. Even within the quantum realm, there appears to be an arrow of time. While the microscopic world of particles can exhibit time symmetry, our larger observable universe seems to have evolved in one direction, 
toward greater entropy. Brian Cox believes that this arrow of time is not just a physical phenomenon, but also a mental one. Our brains experience time in a sequence, from past to present to future. This mental experience of time mirrors how we perceive time in the external world, adding another layer to our understanding of the universe. The implications of time's one-way flow are profound, both for our perception of reality and for the nature of cause and effect. Without this forward-moving arrow, the universe would be unrecognizable, and our actions would have no lasting consequences. Do you think that time dilation, as explained by Einstein's theory of relativity, could one day make time travel to the future a reality for astronauts?